Today, I thought we'd talk about that whiny A sound. Did you know that letter A can make a short vowel sound? The regular A sound, as in cat. But then it gets whiny if there's an M or N that follows it, like camera, can. Watch, there's a trick that you can show your student because sometimes if they're decoding a word and they come across that, a lot of students, then when they pronounce that letter A ah, or that whiny sound, it becomes distorted because they're not understanding what happens in the word. So I like to tell them, look at the word cat. Now I want you to plug your nose as you say that, cat. You don't feel anything in your nose, do you? Okay, but if you said the word can plug your nose and say it can do you feel that buzz in your nose that's what's happening it's that whiny sound it's not a clear ass sound as in cat and then say can hear it it's it's that whiny sound it's like making that nasal sound when you plug your nose okay let's try the word camera plug your nose and say it camera feel that buzz and that was a two syllable word, word. Did you feel that buzz in the first syllable? That's what's happening. Teach your student that trick and they'll become great readers and spellers because of that. They'll be able to hear that sound a lot more clearly and know why that letter A, that short sound is ma making that whiny sound. Make sure you follow me. I'm always finding fun ways to teach your student how to read and spell by following the science of reading. I always follow an Orton-Gillingham approach when I teach.